everyone, Sarah from Margin here. Today, I'm going to go over our Margin Maker strategy, which is a dynamic bot that places limit orders. With this bot, you set a relative margin, which adapts based on the history window and continues to adapt to what has happened. Unlike our static ping pong bot, this bot chooses prices dynamically. Okay, let's go ahead and create a new bot by clicking on the add new strategy icon, choosing margin maker, and let's give it a name, MM5, and create. First, you need to decide if you want to start the bot in buy or sell mode. And then you can allocate some funds to your bot using the slider. Next, here are some parameters that you can adapt from within the chart. The first is the vertical blue line. This determines how much history the bot will use. The vertical height of the time window is given by the lowest and highest price trades that occurred during that time. It is possible to adapt this by clicking and dragging the blue line, which determines the length of the moving time window. You can also set the relative buy and sell margins within this time window, the dashed red horizontal lines. And these will adjust as the window adapts to new incoming trades. Another important parameter is the minimum effective gain. This allows you to set the amount you want to make on each trade cycle after exchange fees have been subtracted. Given our current parameters, we can see the current effective gain is 0.70%. Note, the minimum effective gain is always active. So if you have zero set, it allows the bot to perform a buy-sell cycle in which no net gain is made. We also have two stop loss options available. The first is relative stop loss, which means the stop loss threshold is relative to the last buy order that was performed by the bot. In contrast, the absolute stop loss is a simple fixed price threshold, which will not be adapted over time. Set it to 1%. If a stop loss event occurs, the bot will accept the user specified loss by triggering a spot sell order, and then the bot will stop. The max order age tells the bot when to replace the order given the current situation. There are other parameters you can adapt, like never buy above or never sell below a certain price, and each one has a nice tooltip to better understand the functionality. So let's go ahead and start this bot. Now, we see here that the bot is active and an order appears on the blue, on the buy margin line. If that order gets filled, two things will happen. The stop loss order will be fixed and the bot will place a sell order. Now the bot will continue to buy and sell until you stop it. Okay, now let's look over the bot I had running on ADA USDT. Here we have showing on five minute candle view, a profit of 1.21%. To show this indicator, you just need to click on the little yellow flag, choose view base profit loss and click add and okay. Also, this bot has strategy annotations which show what's happening. It's these dashed lines up here. Here, we can see the order is being replaced based on the max order age. And when the order fills, it switches to the sell case. Any events that occur will show here. Now let's look over at Ethereum BTC. We see here our buy order. And we would expect to see our sell on the sell margin line, but it's up here. So what happened? As you can see, we have set a 1% minimum effective gain, which constrains the price at which the bot can place the order. In effect, this order is stuck here. There are two ways to handle this situation in which the market starts to trend, and by trend, I mean becomes bullish or bearish. One is to set a negative minimum effective gain, 
which allows the bot to make a loss in the hope that further gains will follow. Or when such a situation occurs, you can adapt the order by dragging and dropping the order. Okay guys, don't forget you can test our margin maker strategy in our free demo, which uses real market data with paper trading to gain more insights on how to utilize this bot to fit your trading needs. And finally, it is possible to run multiple bots on a single pair. So let's go over to IOTA BTC. Now, as we are in demo mode, I can just give myself funds to be able to practice. So let's start a new bot, margin maker, start it in a cell, and then I see an invalid range. So I will quickly just give myself some funds, give myself 100, and press OK. Now I can start trading on this pair. Great. That's it, everyone. Happy trading.